Hi everybody! I am April Simpson. This is Kalel and this is Aquila. Aquila, say hi! Simpson Hunt and this is Mermaid Mama Designs. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about what's been going on in my world. Um, I have been on a roll and I was producing content regularly and I the last week or so have taken a little break and a step back. Um, I'm running into issues left and right so I'm making a video to tell you guys about it. Um, topic of the day is micro SD cards and adapters. If you guys know anything about them I would love to your brain so please leave me a comment below um what had happened was um i had an old 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 memory card that i was using with my nikon d5600 my baby that i love <laughs> um and it was just an eight gigabyte memory card nothing special to it but somehow it ended up getting lost on my last video so i figured out that it was locked and figured out how to unlock it um, but when I went to unlock it, I broke it in half. <laughs> so, um, my husband, nice man that he is, ran out and grabbed me a memory card, what I thought was a memory card. Um, it was actually a micro SD like this and an adapter card like this. Um, they go together. The one he got me was 64 gigabytes, which was huge. And I thought it was a 64 gigabyte memory card. So I was so excited. thought I could just make tons and tons of content and I was going to... I don't know, do it big or something. <laughs> um, but I went to put it in my camera. I put it in my camera, I put the video, and I put it on my laptop, which is a fairly new laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron 7000 series, Dell Inspiron 13 7000 series. Um, pretty brand new computer. It doesn't have a lot of memory on it. Uh, but I went to use the card with my computer. There's a little slot for memory cards, um, and it would not read it. Well, first it wouldn't read it, and then it read it, and I could see that it was there, and the computer was registering it, but anytime I would go to open it, or to copy and paste the files, or to open them, or open in Lightroom, or anything, my computer would just freeze up completely. <laughs> like, not moving at all. And then whatever program it was I was trying to open them in would shut down. Um, so I did this pretty much all day yesterday, and I just got so frustrated I was ready to pull my hair out. Um, in the meantime, I made a video with my kids on my phone, um, and I realized that with with my D600, sometimes I have focusing issues, like I will go to show you something like this, and then I will pull it back, um, and I will have to re refocus my screen on myself or on a product. Like when I, do, I did the makeup video, it was like <laughs> constantly trying to get it to focus, which is super annoying, but it is what it is. In making the video with my kids on my phone that my what is it it's a Samsung Galaxy S5 phone I believe an Android and um it has really great video quality and focusing the autofocus is just on point so I also like the video editor that I have on my phone better not better I shouldn't say better on my laptop I use VSDC video editor which is a free software and it is amazing Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's good. Like there is a ton of stuff, and every day that goes by, I find more stuff that I can do with it. So it's, it's a super great editor. I love it, and I love that it's free. It's really, it's great stuff. Um, as a newbie and a beginner, sometimes it's a little overwhelming because there is so much I can do. Um, but I'm definitely not complaining. Um, but the app that I have on my phone is called Time Master, which I like even better because it's so quick just drag and drop and I can pinch to zoom and pinch out and I can just literally with my fingers so the videos that I take on my phone are better quality and I can edit them faster <laughs> which uh, duh, April is the goal like the whole goal of everything so I've been so focused on using this camera and finding a way to make <laughs> these stupid little cards work 
Today I realized I could totally take this SD card out, micro SD card out, and stick it in my phone, which I've been having memory issues with and I can't take videos on my phone because there's never any storage. Just the way the phone came, I guess. I don't have a lot of apps on it. It just doesn't have any storage. So none of my things have storage. I don't understand what it is. Everybody wants me to pay for storage now. You're not getting my money. Anyway, um, so I could put the micro SD card, the 64 gigabyte one in my phone and it reads just fine. Chris, I'm sorry, issues with time matches, but I can't get it to open the video files now from the SD card. I will figure that out, I promise. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I can also, I can still record from this with, I found a four gigabyte micro SD card and adapter around my house, which is a Kingston brand. Uh, the other one is a SanDisk. Uh, but the Kingston brand four gigabyte one works just fine. With, that one worked fine with my camera until I went to play back. And when I hit the playback button, it said it couldn't access the memory card, which is when I knew that I was in trouble. Um, then I put it into the computer and it just would not open whatsoever. The four gigabyte one is absolutely fine. I can open it with my DSLR and I can get the things off of it onto my laptop. So I don't know. I have a theory and I think that it is because my computer is low on storage naturally. I think that perhaps that's why I can't access the um, that's why I can't access the memory card because the memory card has 64 gigabytes of memory, which is a lot of memory. Which one would you would think that it would need a lot of memory to process that, or maybe a lot of RAM? I don't, I'm not a tech girl. I don't know a lot about tech, but I, my theory is that you have to have an equal amount of memory to be able to read that much memory. Um, granted, it was just like one video, but maybe the card was too big for the computer. I don't know. If you have, if you know anything about micro SD cards, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to pick your brain. Um, but see, look, you can totally, yeah, see? The four gigabyte one works just fine. I can see all my pictures that I took earlier. Yeah, you like my new shirt, by the way. This is, I'm having issues with, um, with perfectionism lately. So I decided to make myself a shirt. And this is what I'm going to tell you, what I am telling my perfectionism. Anyway, I was excited because this is a revelation that I can edit, take good quality videos, that again. <laughs> uh, I came to the realization that I could take better quality videos on my phone, especially in low light situations, and I can edit them easier on my phone, which I think means, for me personally anyway, that I will be out to get, able to get... <laughs> for, I think for me personally means I will be able to get my content out more regularly for you guys, which I am super excited about because I have a lot of things coming up this month and next month. On. Over the moon, excited about. I have a DIY beach mason jar project coming up that the kids and I are going to do. Don't have all the specifics nailed down yet, but hang on to your mason jars if you have them. Um, I am also planning to do a giveaway. My Facebook page recently reached 500 likes, which is like oh, mind blown. I'm so excited about it, but I didn't know what to do for it because um, my page is always kind of like mom life, bullet journaling, sewing, DIY, photography, like I'm just all over the place. So. The only thing I think that pulls everything together would be my bullet journaling. So I'm going to do a giveaway for some of my favorite bullet journaling supplies. Um, that will be next month and it will be on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Um, Like I said, I am super excited to have a plan of action now for my videos. And I hope to God that it works. But even if it doesn't work, I'm going to figure out a way to do it with the Nikon like I have been doing it. Um, I've also decided that I am not going to be such a perfectionist about my editing. I absolutely want to put out professional content for you guys. I do. That is my goal for 2018 is to make my channel as professional as I possibly can. I'm quite excited because I edit out every single change thing or every single moment when I choose and trigger my words. are new here thank you for stopping by i would love to talk with you i would love to have you as a subscriber so hit the like or the subscribe button 